Hey yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Lungu. And we are Fanny Fanny and Jesse. Jesse. So today we're gonna do another reaction video. And this one is, you know, one of my OG. I love this guy, man. I love him too. Ahmed Didat is one of my favorite. Um, is it Sheikh or maybe yeah. uh, preachers, Islam preachers? Preacher? I don't refer to it as that. Okay, Sheikh is one is one of my favorite Sheikh in Islam community that I really number one give him like hands down. Respects. It's amazing respect to him and. Uh, rest in peace, my brother. So today, it's <laughs> my brother. So today we're gonna do best argument presented by Sheikh Ahmed Dat of our crucifixion. So without any further ado, guys, let's get it. Yeah. See that uh, Christ Jesus wasn't crucified. He never died. And how can we prove this? Because this is the only thing which is actually, <clears throat> excuse me, protecting me or trying to retard my progress to become a Muslim. All my students, I'm sure some of them are here, they know of my ambition, but my aim and the truth is what I'm looking for. Because I believe a day will come I must stand by the judgment throne to actually testify all what I've done on earth. But how am I going to find that truth? Because it has been told that we've, we, the Christian, believe that Christ died and rose to show to the world that after death there is life this is the proof but if i can just have that hallelujah i would turn tonight to be a Let muslim me. i prove this to you the brother said now if he can be made certain that this crucifixion didn't take place he is prepared to accept islam tonight let us see man says i want to find the truth but generally they close their eyes, they say, I want to see the sun. And I don't see the sun because his eyes are closed. And he doesn't want to open the eyes. He's terrified to open the eyes. Nobody can help him. No million suns can help him to see the light if he keeps his eyes closed. But now, if he opens himself to say, let's have a look. What does the book say? The book says, Luke chapter 24, verse 36, that Jesus returns to that upper room where they had the Last Supper. The Christian knows what I'm talking about. Before his alleged crucifixion, Jesus went to that upper room in Jerusalem, and with his disciples, they had the Last Supper. So, after his alleged crucifixion, Jesus returns after three days. And he goes into this room, and his disciples are there, ten of them, ten of them are there, and he wishes them in Hebrew, Shalom Aleichum, same as Salam Aleichum in Arabic. When he said, peace be unto you, Salam Aleichum, his disciples were terrified. So I'm asking my Christian brothers, why were, he, why were they terrified? They were affrighted because they thought he was a spirit. Am I quoting correctly your scripture? Yeah, yeah. Yes. So I'm asking... Did he look like a spirit? Did he look like a ghost, a spook? They said no. Then I said, why should they think the man is a spirit when he didn't, didn't look like one? Christian gets puzzled. Because they say he, they thought that he was a spirit. So I said, you see, the reason is that the disciples of Jesus, his Hawariyun, they had heard from hearsay people talking that the master, Jesus, was hanged on the cross. They had heard from hearsay, people talking, that he had given up the ghost, you know, that his spirit had come out, he had died. They had heard from hearsay, people talking, that now he is dead and buried for three days. All the knowledge is from hearsay, people talking, because Mark chapter 14, verse 50, he tells us that at the most critical juncture in the life of Jesus, all his disciples forsook him and fled. All! So I'm asking, does all mean all in your language, you Englishman? He said, yes. So they were not there. All the knowledge from what they heard. So on hearsay knowledge, if you know about a man who is dead and buried for three days, you expect him to be stinking in his grave. Am I right? After three days, the man should be stinking in his grave. Such a person you see, naturally you are terrified. Because you think he's a spook, a ghost, a spirit. 
So Jesus wants to assure them that he is not what they are thinking. They are thinking he has come back from the dead, resurrected. So he says, Unzuru ila yadayya varijalayya. He says, Behold my hands and my feet. Inni ana huwa. I am the same fellow man. What's wrong with you fools? Can't you see? Inni, most certainly I, ana huwa. Husuni wanzuru. Say, Handle me and see. For a spirit has no flesh and bones, as you see me have. And they felt him. And they believed not for joy. Means they were overjoyed. And wondered, what happened man? We thought the man was dead and buried. So he says, to assure them further, that this is not what they are thinking. He says, Have you got here anything to eat? And they gave him a piece of broiled fish and a honeycomb and he took it and he ate in the very sight to prove what? There is a ghost, he's a spook, he's a spirit. What is he proving? I'm a same fellow man, damn fools, what are you afraid of me for? This is what he's proving to them. He's telling them that he's not what you are thinking. And yet he said, no, he is. He said, he is not a spirit. You say, he is. Amazing. Amazing sense of logic reasoning. The man is telling you, I am not. You say, he is. Jesus says, I am not God. I am a servant of God. You say, no, he is God. Jesus says, I don't know about the Yom Al-Qiyamah. They say, no, he knows. Jesus says, I can't do everything of my own self. They say, no, he can do everything. I say, what's wrong with you people? The man is telling you, I don't know. The man is telling you, I am the same fellow. And you say, no, he's a spirit. He says, he's not a spirit, you say, he's a spirit. I want to know whether you understand English. I don't know Ghanaian, I don't have told you in the Ghanaian language. Okay. A spirit has no flesh and bones. Why does he tell you a spirit has no flesh and bones? Look, it's an axiomatic truth. Everybody agrees. Whether Hindu, Jew, atheist, agnostic, spirit has no flesh and bones. So why must he tell you that? Because you are thinking that he is. He said, he is not that. And he's eating broiled fish and honeycomb. Do resurrected bodies eat broiled fish and honeycomb? Do they? That when we wake up, Yom Al-Qiyama, everybody eating broiled fish and honeycomb? Is that what it is? So what is this? The man is telling you he's not, and you say, no, he is. I said, this is this. The Quran discussed. Jesus said, seeing they see not, hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. The Quran confirms that. It's a summum bukmun umyun for whom lai rijiun. Deaf, dumb and blind, they will not return to the path. If you want to see, the signs are there. This booklet is here. I don't know whether you got this. Crucifixion or crucifixion. Have you got this? Yes. Now, look, man, the whole thing. There isn't a Christian born. Look, brother, brother, listen. I'm, I'm offering your mighty Christian giants in America. Meeting in the Madison Square Garden at my expense. You get me Jerry Falwell, or Pat Robertson, or Billy Graham, and I will give you, 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 $10,000 present. If you can make any one of those to agree to discuss this with me in America in Madison Square Garden, I will give you as a present $10,000. I will read in a book earlier today. Mm -hmm. And um, so the... Some guy speaks about how you can miss your target because your eyes are closed. Yeah. Like how do you expect to see that it's actually daylight outside if your eyes are it's still closed, closed yeah. if you don't open your eyes. So in this situation, Jesus is saying, I am not a spirit. Mm -hmm. Because you're too naive, because you want to create this world where something is that is not, so you tell yourself otherwise. Mm -hmm. Just like today I can do something wrong and I say that's the right thing. But outsiders may try to correct me and say this is the correct thing, do you understand? So it's up to me to sit down and try to understand what the other person is telling me to, I don't know, balance me out. Otherwise if I ignore what people are saying or I ignore what I just ignore thinking or apply, applying logic per se is missing out on a lot of things. That's why we people are um, going to fail in life if we don't just take a deep breath and think about another perspective. Your perspective is never the right thing. And especially if you're being corrected, 
in this situation by Jesus, they should have, the disciples should have thought more about it. Yeah, I mean, you've explained it in a, in a really good way. Again, I tend to believe that people that normally follow you, they tend to just listen to you and obey and maybe just obey you at at uh, at, at all cost do you understand so what what i'm trying to understand here is that why did the disciple not try to listen to what jesus was telling them hmm? i am jesus i've been showing you all this healing but why is it that when i tell you that i'm not a spirit you're telling me that you are a spirit. So what changed? Do you understand? That's the question we should ask ourselves. What changed? Did the disciple stop listening to Jesus at some point? Did the disciple start looking at Jesus like probably we don't trust him? We have to tell him that no. What you're telling us is wrong. This is what we saw. They didn't say anything because they abandoned him. Do yeah. you understand? They didn't visit the grave according to what was said here. Yeah. So, so because yeah. everything was based on hearsay, yeah. So if also I told they you just he's had... a spirit, do you understand? You go with the flow. You don't. Oh, okay. Want... So it was like more that like. Uh, it's like, like you can't I tell you, like, ah, did you see? Did you see Jesus? He just died yesterday, but he's alive. Do you understand? But no one went to the tomb to to actually. None of the disciples. Yes, none of the disciples went to the tomb and sit there to see if he's gonna wake up at any one point. Or something like that so anyway i mean these stories are really really it's kind of complicated at some point because uh, god, god i don't know god knows we don't know the truth at some point we are in a space where we are trying to find out the truth but if it's true that jesus was crucified and is uh, and got resurrected then uh the story will still remain the same but again if if he did not if he if he wasn't crucified and then he didn't resurrect then that's a different you know what that's gonna look like if they find out the truth that jesus didn't die and never went to heaven like he never go. went to ascend yeah me. didn't ascend like the way they say he ascended to, to heaven and the crucifixion and all those kinds. that will change perspective of a lot of christians you know but we don't know it wasn't documented it uh, was just written down it was written down but what i feel like we people should learn from is the fact that different religions have a close relation when it comes to this story yeah. like they're telling the same story you understand but this and that anyway, just I let us feel, know hmm? i feel like never stop learning yeah, learning is good. If you find an but opposing I think it's, opinion, look into it. It's not like you're going to accept it. Just go there. If you find that it stops somewhere, continue with whatever else goes further. I think it's best off when you try to analyze each and every situation in all the books, and then try to come up with a with concrete a conclusion. concrete conclusion as to why Jesus wasn't crucified and all those kind. I think you can come up with something because. Let's say if all the if all the early books were just saying the same thing, then we can all agree to that. But again, you see, this one says a different thing. This one says a different thing. At least they all you know? agree Jesus was there. Yeah. So at least we can all attest that probably Jesus was there. He kind of existed in this world. Mm -hmm. But there are people out there who are saying, no, we want proof. There are no bones of Jesus. Yeah, no, but that's another story. But anyway, let us know what you guys actually think yeah. about this topic, the conversation, just everything in general. If there's anything you want us to react to, let us know down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in our next reaction video. And deuces.